Wake up. Get ready. It's almost time. In a minute. No, it has to be now. You're just about out of time. Really? How much time do I have left? Not much. <laughs> well, exactly how much is not much. Okay, I don't actually know when it will be, but that doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? I need to know when. No, you don't need to know when. You don't need, even need to know how. Just need to be ready. Well, okay then. Let's get ready. Let us stand. Turn in your hymnal to 418. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thanks for being here to celebrate and worship our greatest superhero of all. Jesus. That's what I tell my son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You made, the rain just started. We made it. We're good. We're dry. Um, if you haven't already done so, please silence your cell phones and sign in on the pad at the end of the pew. Now, please take your worship guide and join in reading the call to worship. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. For in God's house we shall find hope and healing. In God's house we shall find forgiveness and friendship. May peace be within the walls of this house of God. Come, let us go to the house of the Lord. Come, let us sing our praises to God who 
who loves and redeems us. The time is coming when the Lord shall pour his most special blessing on the earth. We want to be ready for that time. What should we do? Be vigilant. Keep your hearts, minds, and spirits open to God's word. Help us, O Lord, to be aware of all your blessings. Come, let us celebrate God's love for us. Make our hearts ready to receive your gift of love, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Will you please stand and join us as we sing How Great Is Our God. yourself a hand, St. Paul. Let us take a few moments to be in an attitude of prayer. Oh, Lord. Our lives are so filled with chaos and tribulation. Help us to be ready to receive your message and gift of love, that we might grow into faithful disciples, serving you by serving others with hope and compassion. In Christ's name we pray, amen. <laughs>
You wrapped us in your arms and stepped in. And everything we need, you supply. You've got this in control. And now we know that you made a Now for the lighting of the Advent candle, the candle of readiness, prepare, and the Tafahima family will be lighting this second candle. Good morning, St. Paul's family. From the foundation of Jesse, from the stump, there shall come a new shoot. The spirit shall rest upon him. He shall find delight in all of, Je all of God's creation. Peace shall reign. Oh, and shall be. For on that day we will celebrate God's love with one another. Today we light two candles. The first is a candle of patience, reminding us to watch and wait for what God is about to do. <coughs> Thank you. 
Come see the light, let their brightness fill you. Come, feel the warmth of the light, let it give you comfort. Come draw near to the light, for it is God's way of breaking through to you. Come, rejoice in the light, for God is with us. Amen. If you're able to stand, please turn to page 211 in the, your red hymnal and sing with us, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Please rise, take your worship guide, and join in praying the prayer of confession. <clears throat> God of amazing surprises, we are rushing headlong into this season of buying, giving, greed, and struggle. We want to think of the holiday as delightful, but we have a tendency to make it a time of the highest stress. We overschedule our time, overdraw our resources, ignore those moments in which we could relax and have quiet time with our families and with you. We blame it on everything else but our own decision making. We speak of obligations, of the need to be constantly busy, of the pressure to purchase things to make people happy. The reality is that your love should be our foundation, the base from which we celebrate. Our watchfulness is not necessarily about what is to happen, but rather should be on the ways in which we order our lives, ways that block out your love and your healing power. Forgive us for our stubborn insistence on maintaining schedule rather than focusing on your love. Heal us. Strengthen us and make us watchful over our faith in you. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated.
for what I treasure. I make time for what I want. I choose my priority. In Jesus, you're my number one. So I will
love is real Order my steps in your word Please order my steps in your word Write on my tongue Let the words edify Let the words of my mouth your word Lord please order my steps in your word order my steps order my steps in your word dear Lord lead me guide me every day send your anointing Father Please hear and receive these words of assurance. Watch, wait. God is bringing to you new hope and peace. It is a gift given especially for you, one that you cannot earn. It's a gift. Praise be to the giver of all great gifts, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we go into 
our next piece. Beloved, my, 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 wow. You know, somebody turned me on to a book and it says that one of the things that we need to do is take two minutes for each other. <coughs> Marty says that we need to take two minutes for each other. What we need to do is get up and say hello to someone we have not seen or we have not introduced ourselves to. Good morning. Get up. Say hello <coughs> to someone we haven't seen or we haven't introduced ourselves to. Amen? Good. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, says my soul now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, says my soul. Yeah, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, says my soul. Goes the devil and the devil ain't got me no more. Get away, devil, get away. I said, do, 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 Yeah, it says my soul now. Says my soul now. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, says my soul. You know why? Yeah, cause the devil ain't 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 got me no more. Get away, devil. Get away, the devil ain't devil ain't got me no more. Hallelujah, oh, says my soul. Hallelujah. Says my soul. Says my soul to St. Paul in Encino. Said my soul, here it comes. Said my soul, hallelujah. Says I saw, yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Don't stop now, hallelujah. Bernard Kim, how are you? Oh, devil ain't the devil ain't got me no more. No, the devil ain't the devil ain't got me no more. That's right, Dukes. Yeah, the devil ain't the devil ain't got me no more. Hallelujah, says my soul. We got the Lord. We got the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, let them set you free and take you to eternity. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, says my soul. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Get away, devil. Oh, the devil ain't, devil ain't got me no more. God is good. Give yourself a hand. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. All the time. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Amen. And amen. Family, family, family. This is what it's all about. Amen? Amen. We got some work to do, but it's all right. We're striving to get to the mark. Please rise and receive the reading of the word. And today's word comes from Matthew 24, verses 36 through 44. But about that day and hour no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away. So too will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together. One will be taken and one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have left, let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Can you identify with our readers? Do things already seem out of control? Have you lost the focus of the season? Do not be afraid. The Lord is with us, ready to bless our lives and give us hope. God is bringing to us the greatest gift of all. Watch, be ready. Your blessing is on its way. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Oh 
inventory. Enlarge my territory. to be
When you were at the musical, you did better than that. But in God's house, you just give God a little bit, give God a lot more than that. That's right. Don't hold back. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I don't know who you, if y'all know anything about that. That's my Jesus. Amen. Amen. Just an infomercial. We have Adriana Franco this get up from Get on the Bus is here this morning after service that we'll meet in Kaplan Hall in regards to us partnering with them in their needs of being that of the justice system how it treats and does different things, but bringing families together, amen? amen? Blue Christmas, December the 18th, seven o'clock. You're just getting a taste of it this morning, amen? amen? The brunch on the 22nd, reservations need to be in. We thank the choir, Jackie and Deborah, Yolanda, Miss Cat. Donald, Terry, Richard, when he's in town, Woo. Carol's brother, amen? amen. Forrest back there on the drums. Woo. Wow, there's change happening. Montana still strumming, amen? Hallelujah. Jacqueline. Robin, who's sitting it out this morning, amen? Amen. But God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. You know, there was a song, and I keep saying, we need to stop just hearing things, but we need to start listening and reading things. And as I'm constantly reminded something is subject to change at an ungiven notice. Amen. Amen. Deborah yelled at me up in the uh, balcony this morning and said, Pastor, you're changing again. <laughs> Says, yes, ma'am. But there was a song that you did this morning that I need to definitely go look at and put it in word. Making room. I don't know if you listened to that, but it was a thing about making room and what we make room for instead of making room for God. So it's coming. It's coming. Tammy, thank you for the word this morning. Subject to change. Last week, I was going to do this sermon, and then the Spirit hit me. And the Spirit reminded me that we need to be that and realize that of what and where our joy comes from. And our joy comes from inside to the outside. I made a phone call and asked if you can get the boys in church. And mother says, I don't know, Pastor. I don't know if I can get them there. I says, well, you make the initial call, and if not, then slide me the number, and I'll make the secondary call. But I didn't have to make that call. All right. I appreciate you boys Woo. being here. see it's about the joy but it's about the family as well as we had the rights the previous week lighting the way and we thank you you see what I'm getting to not only the question of are you ready 
but you need to ask yourself, are you ready? Are you? Are you ready? We spent 341 days thus far. 2019. 24 more days to go in order to get it right. Think about that in building God's kingdom. But it's about us acting and acting within our joy. But you see, this is what has to be done. Is continue to live in thanksgiving for your thanksgiving. Did you hear me? Thanksgiving brings on your thanksgiving. We're missing the point because we're slow to act and make our actions known to God. This is the second week of Advent. Advent means the coming, the coming of Christ Jesus. It's the A, liturgical year of the Gospels of Matthew and John and Romans. It is that waiting on the preparation of both the celebration of the nativity and the birth of Jesus Christ. It's about praying daily with devotionals, hanging of the greens, lighting the ways, and giving. Giving of our hearts, our souls, and our spirits. Giving of that of love. You see, the colors that we're before us is purple. The somber color. But it's the color of reflection to set off that of the coming. But as you've heard in the scriptures, it reminds us that we need to get our house in order. We need to be ready. It's a warning to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor try, hard try hard to love me and not to judge me. No judge. Turn to your other neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. try hard to love me and not to judge me. And the reason why I remind you of this is because of the fact we have to be forgiving. If you are, and you are going to be ready, you have to forgive. You have to love. You have to put away some things and put them to the side. I see you. Do you see you? Who is that in the mirror? Just let that resonate with you for a moment. Who are you looking at in the mirror? And while you're there, let us bow our heads, center our minds, our spirits. Gracious and almighty God, as we come before you this morning, Humble hearts, humble minds, but yet in an attitude of gratitude, a state, a state of hospitality. Hospitality for all that's in attendance, all that are within our spirits, our minds, our hearts. Hospitality of you, O oh God, for your grace, your mercy. Although that our temples are aching, our hearts are broken, 
our spirits are shattered. God, we ask that you just come into us. Fill us. Fill us, oh God, with your love, your mercy, your grace. Forgive us, God, as we forgive those. But yet, God, in all in all, we say thank you. Thank you for the reminder of our Lord and our Savior that has come through the scriptures this morning. But now, God, we ask that you do open up our minds and our hearts in order to receive and let that meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. As you've heard me say last week, the question, are you? Are you ready? The reason for the question is because we're entering into a season. A season man would say holidays, Thanksgiving. Some call it a holiday, some call it Xmas, others call it Merry Christmas. Well, what we should be saying is Christ much more. I don't even get an amen on that. Amen. Christ much more is what we need. He is the reason for the season. He is the advent, the season that we're supposed to be reminding ourselves that we once again need to look out. Why are we on the lookout? You've heard the scripture, but about the hour of the day, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father, the second coming of Christ. And when he does, it's going to be a great day. A great day for us that serves that of Christ. But it's going to be that of chaos for those that we leave behind. As the Bible mentioned, it is very clearly that there is a heaven and there is a hell. But we need to make a decision on what we're going to do with our lives. Our lives for striving for eternity. Beloved, you need to think about your future, laying the path, walking the journey while you're watching. But you need to know the truth. When you watch, are you ready? You see, he will return. But there is not that of a sign that is going to be given to the world. You see, in modern times, modern man has tried to predict when the second coming is. In 1843, William Miller tried to predict it. Harold Campany tried to predict it in 2011. David Mee tried to predict it in 2017 and 18. But the man still cannot predict the date nor the time that Jesus is coming. You see in this chapter 24 and 25, Jesus answers the question of his coming. It's called the Olivet Disclosure. It is a comprehensive truth with 160 verses on the gospel that tells us no one knows, no man. But in Philippians 2, it reminds us Jesus didn't know when he will return. Because Philippians 2 tells us at that time he was that of man and had given up the powers of the Trinity. However, when he died and rose again, 
came back into the oneness of God. Matthew 24, 36 says, no one knows the hour. No one knows. So again, the question, are you? Are you ready? You got ready for church this morning. You get ready for school. You get ready for parties and festivities. But are you ready for Christ? So are you ready for the coming? Is your house in order? See, in order to have that relationship with God, you need to believe in Him. You need to have faith in Him. You need to trust Him. You need to have hope in Him. You need to have love within Him. Love. Because he loved you first. Because he does not neglect you in any form or fashion. He accepts you for who that you are. Because he knows whose that you are. But are you ready? Are you ready? We're reminded in a song that Rod Stewart, the Impressions, and Curtis Mayfield sung at one time. And it says, people get ready, there's a train a coming. You don't need no ticket, just get on board. All, the, all you need is faith to hear the diesel humming. You don't need no ticket, just thank the Lord. People get ready for the train to Jordan, picking up passengers from coast to coast. Faith is the key. Open the door and board them. There's room for all. Almost the love of most. There ain't no room for the hopeless sinner who would hurt all mankind just to save his own. Have pity on those whose chances are thinner because there's no hiding place from the kingdom throne. So people get ready. There's a train a coming. You don't need no ticket to get on board. All you need is faith. Beloved, get ready. Get ready. And all you have to do is thank the Lord. Somebody ought to thank Jesus right now. Here and now. Thank him. Are you getting ready? But Dottie Peoples turns it around a little bit and she tells us to get our house in order. Oh, do it today. Get your house in order. Do it right away. Jesus is coming. No man, no man knows when or where. But get your house in order for he's coming back again. You know there's earthquakes, hurricanes, famine, and disease. 
Can't you see my Lord is talking to you? You better take heed. Get your house in order. Oh, do it today. Get your house in order. Do it right away. For Jesus is coming. Church, we're not promised tomorrow. And Jesus will return unexpectedly. Do you want to be left behind? Or do you want to be ready for the coming? It's just as the warning says. You don't know when the thief is going to come. We don't know when Christ Jesus in Advent is going to come. But we need to heed to the warning. He's going to come. And all that believe, trust, hope and love in him get on the train but those that do not you will be left behind the woes of man needs to change we need to change to change and be that of the love the justice the mercy, the grace, the hope for tomorrow. And the greatest of those, we need to start loving one another. Loving each other. We're reminded constantly, judging is not our commission. Our commission is that of love, care, compassion, justice for all. But the salvation is yours when you ask for it. Is yours when you ask for it. You were reminded of the splinters the nails and the thorns. On the cross. Of which Jesus took your sins upon. To give you that of salvation. To give you that of joy. To give you that of what the Father had promised. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with the singing of Zion. And everything joy shall be upon their heads and shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and the morning shall flee away. Church, because Jesus lives, because he has washed away our sins, because he has clothed us in righteousness through the blood, because he is coming to take his bride, the church. Those who are watching and waiting for the coming of those who are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb will go to heaven singing with joy, shouting for victory, and there is where the joy forever and gladness will reign within our hearts. The Bible says there won't be sorrow, there won't be sickness, there won't be death, there won't be mourning, no more. There will be Jesus forever. Jesus and the joy of life. The final part is simply being washed in the blood of Jesus. All you have to do is confess. Confess 
release it and it no longer belongs to you no matter what you've done give it to God the promise you will not be left behind but we need to get ready are you ready are you are you ready you don't need a ticket you just get on board your ticket has been paid in full in full you ask it is given you ask not it happens not but the love love one another one another no matter what, forgive and love. Beloved, just ask for forgiveness. Ask for the renewing of your heart and your spirit to satisfy your soul. even for us. Take two minutes. Love someone. Smile at someone. Shake someone's hand. Come out from beyond the counter as Marty did. As Jesus does. It's about Christ. It's not about man. Man has gotten us into the dilemma that we're into today. The book of instructions before leaving this life. There's all our directions all of our direction but we fail to adhere to it but today be it you come to the altar you light a candle of forgiveness be it that start today in the newness of God thanks living brings on thanksgiving. I forgive you. Forgive me. I love you. Love me. Hope and belief is there. It's already been instilled into you. Acknowledge it, accept it, believe it, trust it, and let God lead you. Beloved, victory is yours. Victory is yours because Jesus conquered the cross for you. Love someone, pray for someone, reach out to someone, make a difference. Be that of the disciple of which God wants you to be. Amen? Amen? Give God a hand praise. Somebody just say, thank you, Jesus.
it's easy All you need is love All you need is love All you need is love, love. Love is all you need for each other, and you gotta talk to your Lord every day now. your knees and leave it alone all you need is Jesus he is all you need you are so beautiful to me, my Lord, you are so beautiful. To me, you're my Lord. You're everything I hope for. You're everything that I need. You are so beautiful. Yes, and wonderful to me. be the glory of St. Paul. Happy Sunday. Hey, Luke, Mama's here. Mama's in the house. for the ushers to come for God is asking you not to switch just to stretch in your gift giving for mission and ministries 
Amen. Amen. Clap your hands, give it to the Lord, and stand up. Thank you, God. Thank you for the wake-up call reminding us to be ready. Thank you for not giving up your vision of peace. Thank you for the opportunity to gather each week in your house that we might encourage one another to stay on your path. And thank you for the opportunity to give these gifts for your ministry, that together we might help the world become ready to receive the Prince of Peace, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Thank you for all that you've done. Beloved. Are you? Are you ready? That's the question that you have for yourself. Are you? Are you ready? I'm just waiting on the train because I will get on board because I know who my Savior is. No question, no doubt. As you've heard me say, when I used to don another uniform, i take a bullet for each one of you, no question. Think about what Jesus did. Amen. He took your sins at no question. But he did accept it because you asked. That's your victory. That's your victory. So this week, in your victory, 
allow yourself to bring someone else up into the victory. Be that of witness, be that of discipleship, be that of stewardship, be that of heart, mind, and spirit. Because the grace of God is upon you. It's upon you. You didn't even have to ask the for it. Is won, the battle is won. You did not even know it was there until he told you. Thank God for Jesus. But are you going to accept it and keep it? Heck. Or are you going to turn it in? Let us put our hands in God's hand. Gracious and almighty God, we come before you humbly with heart, mind, and spirit. God, you formed us, now fill us. In order for us to just function, oh God, function as you want us to. In the image of you, the love of you, the grace of you. God, as we go to the highways and byways, let us do that in celebration, celebration and witnessing for you and by you. But most of all, God, we ask that you just give us the serenity of peace, knowing that the woes of yesterday are no longer upon us. But the joy, the joy, the joy the battle is, won. is before us. Is won. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Give God a hand praise. And now the battle is won. Let the church say amen. Now the battle Let the church is say amen. Won. My Jesus. That is your promise to God. Thank God for that Jesus. That you have accepted what he's placed upon you. Thank go you on, for please. your son. Go in victory. The battle is won. 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 The battle is won, 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 the battle is won. Thank God for Jesus. The battle is won, the battle is Thank God for Jesus, thank you, our Father, for your Son. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank God for Jesus, thank you for all that you've done. And now the battle is won. Now the battle is won. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. The battle is won. It's right. Won. The battle is won. The battle is won. The battle is won. Is won, the battle is won. <laughs> battle is won. Happy Sunday, everyone. To God be the glory. Get home safely. Love one another. Until next time.